On Friday, May 8th, nearly 50 of Salsa's biggest icons gathered in the Midtown Recording Studio for a once-in-a-lifetime photo shoot produced by the New York Post Tempo section. Longtime legends mingled with today's up-and-coming stars to create a history-making portrait of Salsa's past, present, and future. One, two, three. My favorite is the hug. I like that one. They show the love. I love it. <laughs> Salsa is as much a part of New York's cultural history as Broadway and hip hop. And it began more than 50 years ago in the streets of Spanish Harlem and the Bronx, where large Puerto Rican families lived. Salsa music is a New York, New York happening, a New York, I include Puerto Rico too, a New York and Puerto Rico musical happening. And it, it is truly an art form. These great composers wrote real songs, you know, to reflect what was happening politically, romantically. All the newly arrived immigrants in this country, whether they be Dominican, Puerto Rican, Cubans, uh, Central American, it doesn't matter. Um, they took this music as their own and supported it all through the 60s and 70s, even into the 80s. This is a family. You know, what, what unites us is the music, first of all, and many, many years together. Today, this melodic and contagious sound is heard across the globe. Last year I was in Istanbul, in Turkey, uh, I was in Israel, I was in Korea, in Seoul. Vienna, um, in France. Oh, Colombia, Venezuela, Panama, Santo Domingo, Curaçao, Arizona, oh, Belgium, Germany, London, Paris, Rome, Hungary, uh, not that I'm hungry, but you know, in Hungary. No matter what the language barrier is, you know, people feel the tambor, you know, and that's, that's what they dance to. And while salsa may be middle-aged, those who play, dance, and love the music vow that the popular genre will never die. No, it'll never die. It'll always be there. Those records are gems. Those recordings are gems. This is Sandra Guzman for NYPost.com.